I'm just saying, fucking them right yeah. now. If you knew Jeter and Dalia, this guy would pay good money for those that phone numbers. Not true. I yeah, I was I'm a longtime fan. I've been watching. You know, I've been going to Laugh Factory for ten years. Yeah, no, years. I get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's he's he pro, was funny, he's prolific. I mean, That's fine. Yeah, and I just have to try to get away from that umbrella. So oh, it's, dude, you were in your own umbrella. I dude, you killed it. You killed it more oh, than thanks. him the night the last time I oh, saw thanks, you do stand up, man. Is that Appreciate frustrating it. though to be always associated with Dalia? No, it's it's. Uh, I mean because. What if I wasn't? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. Everybody's journey. I listen, in, but, ten, in 10 years, people won't say it. Right. So it's exactly. fine. So it's like some sometimes people over the years would be like, well, how long are you going to open for him? I was like, well, when I can't do Carnegie Hall with him? Like, right. what do you, what do you yeah. mean? Like, I don't like to me, the end game is how do I get how do I become the best or how do I get better stage time? And right. I'm getting the best stage time. So right. it's like. People are so fast to making it, and I'm like, bro, this is a 20 year, 20 year business. This so it's is, like, yeah. to me, I'm like, yeah, I mean, sometimes I think that, I think the only way it hurts is peer respect a little bit sometimes, mm -hmm. but then that's just some weird backwards shit, you know what I mean? Like, So you're saying other comics you run into yeah, at clubs? Maybe, maybe they might be like, ah, oh, he's just a, like, like he's he, you're, you're just an opener or you just have this because of him or something like that. Is that for like, people who are above you or for people who are slugging it out in clubs? I don't know what they think. That's just maybe me projecting. I I'm curious. I, I don't know. I, I I for sure think it. I for sure think some pop, some people might not like me because of it, mm -hmm. or they might think I'm just like coattailing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or what they say. You know, they say stuff like that. But I, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to fucking get as much stage time as possible. And I for, agree. I think it's that's the only. I I think I heard a quote. I I didn't read the book, but I think. Sebastian had mentioned someone said one time he opened for Sebastian uh, Monacas. What's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebastian Monacasco. Right. Man Maniscalco. Maniscalco. That guy uh, he opened for uh, fuck. What's his name for years when he was starting out? Um, fuck. Why am I blanking on his name? You know, know the, the one who the the old time who had uh, uh, who's uh, the old time guy? guy? Dom Herrera? No, no, no. no uh, Fuck. Well, I figured it was we an Italian guy. Yeah, no, yeah. you know the guy who would smoke on stage and fucking. Oh, Ron White? No. No, 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 no. Doug Stanhope? That's no, a little no, too no. recent. Uh, he would smoke on stage. I should know this. The fuck. Come on, you big. Hey, you fucking motherfuckers with this Italian oh, jacket. Oh, uh, a uh, uh, fucking Andrew Dice Clay? Yeah, Andrew Dice Clay. He, he opened uh, for, he opened for, yeah, he opened yeah. for Dice Clay for years. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, like Sebastian's been in comedy like now 25 huge. plus years. Yeah. You didn't know who he was 10 years ago. Right. He was 15 years in. I'm not 15 years in. He worked at uh, Four Seasons as a yeah. waiter. He so was a he fucking just, service guy. So I don't know. Stage time, stage yeah. time, stage time. So it's like, no, I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I mean... It's it's it, dude. It's great and it's awesome and the opportunities are unbelievable. But like, yeah, eventually you have to build your own kingdom. But like, also just keep getting good. But but also, no, I don't know what's right. No, I I don't know what's right. Right you, now, you, I just want to go up. But you yeah. have to be you have to be good to open up for a guy for any big comedian. You, 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 you they don't want you to thing. suck, right? I mean, yeah, come yeah, on. yeah. I yeah, I think most of the good guys are yeah. like that. Like most of the people, I don't know how other guys are, but like most of the people, like. Even the people Rogan fucks with, sometimes people be like, I don't like his style, but they have something. Right. It, it might not be your cup of tea, but that guy has something and it works. Do you right. mean his openers, Rogan's openers? I don't even know who he, opens for Rogan. He just has different guys, but he there's a lot of people associated with him over the years. Yeah. I mean, there's more than five. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he got Tom Segura going, Bert Kreischer. Wow. Ari Shafir, Tony Hinchcliffe, you know what I mean? Mm. Theo, even for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, there's all these guys, and not everyone's your cup of tea, but, like, they, they, they have something they were doing right. But, yeah, I mean, like, listen, at the end of the day, I started to do one-nighters. Like, until I can fucking pay my bills, like, why, 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 why would I not? But, right. I mean, I, there's pros and cons. I don't know. There's no rules. All I know is I got to keep getting up. That's yeah, all yep. I can do, and... I don't know if it's going to hurt my career or help, and we'll, we'll, time will tell. It's, it's you know gonna what I mean. Help. I don't it's know. Help, dude. That's you mentioned. Yeah. Comedy is a twenty-year business. There are some guys who have careers that stretch out 30, 40 years. That's one of the things that feels great about it. Yeah. Is in comedy, being thirty or forty is like being twenty in the music business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's comforting to me because I have a really anxious mind, and I'm always nervous that somebody else is going to make it, or I'm going to fall out of favor, or I'm going to have to go back to working as a busboy in San yeah. Francisco. My thing, your opening, the thing that's taken you ahead right now, my thing, my equivalent is YouTube. And sometimes it feels kind of lame. I, I'm like, ah, out of college, I should have just started slugging it out in open mic rooms. Sure. Doing the, the traditional, like, core, cool path. But 
fucking be it YouTube or be it opening for a big star, man. You got to do whatever you got to do to get I mean, ahead. I, I'm trying to do the YouTube shit too, man. I, 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 I'll, I'll do everything. Like now I'm just like trying to push my, my podcast on YouTube. I'm like, let's get these numbers up because that – let like to me, I'm like if I could grow that, then I'm I'm in control of everything. I don't mm-hmm. need anyone else. Yeah, I don't. Right. Have, I don't have to wait for fucking executives to be like, hey, we want to cast you in something. Absolutely, suck my dick. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to. I have. I don't my, have to. The money's good on YouTube, sell, dude. Once I could sell fucking tickets, right? Mm-hmm. I'm game. Mm-hmm. Right. I love to act. I want to act more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, it's hard as a white straight male, yeah, but I would yeah. love to act more. But right now. I'm not going to fucking chase things. So in the meantime, let me build my fucking crowd and try to make money selling tickets yeah. for the time being. But yeah, I mean, dude, there's no fu- – here's the thing is nobody knows what they're fucking doing. Mm-hmm. And there's no blueprint. The only thing I've realized in the 10 years I've been in L.A. is is if you fucking don't like have some horrible addiction – to like you get like you're a big drinker or drugs you know what i mean or or cock for our producer yeah whatever or if you fucking take too much cock like if you don't have a bad addiction (laughs) if you just keep creating and don't stop it's inevitable right everybody will make it at some point whatever make it is to you Mm -hmm. you'll you'll get so good at something or you'll find your lane i've i've watched guys just in my small time like do something and maybe it pushes them this way and all of a sudden they they keep doing that and then it forms into like a little career for them like i've watched guys start and stand up and become huge writers and create a show and then they have a show and then stand i I watch stand-up comics keep going and then fail and fail and then all of a sudden like i remember when theo's fucking first special came out it bombed and he was bummed out and now he's a fucking huge theater act that is so successful now his podcast kills it too i'm sure he makes multiple six figures off just his podcast podcast yeah yeah i would he, he's a millionaire let's just yeah, go that far there, that. there's no like it's just like it's not it's not stopping because like there's a I, ira glass have you ever heard that guy before I you know, can probably I know pull it up he has like a great thing he's like when you're when you're being creative you're trying things and it might not be good and you know it's not good but you're just you're trying to figure it out and you're mm-hmm. trying to make it good but like you have to keep doing that to catch up to where great is like you know you'll if you keep putting yourself out there and and taking chances yes one day something will find out as long as you don't quit even if it fucking takes you till you're 55 right but like if you even have some sort of momentum and you're like this isn't working and you stop like then it's over like i dude i did a podcast for three years it felt like it just it stopped so then i transitioned let me try a, a different podcast like i didn't fail I just was like, okay, it got me into this new podcast, so maybe this will be something. And even if this doesn't work out, then whatever I was doing during that time, I learned something that may, might help me create something that yeah. is gold. Who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. But at least I, I, I keep trying and I, I fucking – until you know something happens, who cares? I'm having fun. Till now, Dude, what's that? Just uh, just our own journey. We, we've been partnered up for about a year and a half now. What you say? I don't like the way you put it, but sure. <laughs> and dude, we started this podcast a year, almost a year ago to the date. And we, dude, we had, you know, it's, it's fucking flourishing. It's, it, it keeps yeah. growing. To take a step before that. Uh, I started comedy writing books. I wanted to write yeah. comedic short stories. I did that for five years out of college. Yeah. I would put out a book on amazon.com, self-publish, uh, five buyers, sure. six people buy the book. It got Are to the point. Family? My family would buy it. My fam- my mom would leave a review on Goodreads. Oh. Five stars. And then yeah. the next review would be like, this guy fucking sucks. He's not funny. <laughs> sure. My next move was I tried to go to screenwriting school. I applied because I was like, maybe I'll go be in a writer's room on a sitcom. Sure. Which I think I would hate in retrospect. Sure. Got denied by both USC and UCLA. After that, so I'm five, six years into this point, I saw an ad for a course that taught you how to do comedy on YouTube. I paid a thousand bucks for the course, oh started God. releasing videos. It's yeah. been three years now, and now I make a pretty solid living just off being a YouTuber. Yeah, I mean, dude. Yeah. That's a great example thought? of what you're saying. But like, it's, it's just, you, you don't yeah. know where it takes you. Never as long know. as you have some sort of passion that you keep, like, wanting to. And, so, and some sort of know. talent, I would say, too. Dude, and, and That's you the can dangerous le- you thing. You can learn talent. It's, yeah. There are people, though, who have absolutely no knack for a subject. Leo and I, one of the only open mics I did, yeah. we saw a 50-year-old woman who works for DoorDash who was telling late-night monologue-style jokes into the mic, and she was reading them off a note card. There was absolutely no comprehension for how to write a joke, no delivery, no self-confidence. You're already 50, bitch. Go back to work in a chillies. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, to, but here, the, yes. I mean, it's hard to say like talent and passion. It's weird because like I'm passionate about sports, and then it's like if I would have had the mentality to know, like I know what it, what training it would take to become a professional athlete. Would it if I if I had that mentality at ten? Mm-hmm. Would I have made it? That's the question. It's hard because it's a physical thing. Yeah. But now, how fast are you though? There are ways you can well, you can get fast. Do a math equation, dude. I'm not going to lie. To a degree, right? It's like, yeah. there, there, there's things like now, like people would say, like okay, like LeBron is obviously a freak of nature, but he obviously he also works harder than everyone, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so there's that on top of it because then because it's it's like why why is why is one athlete so much better than a, a, a next? Yeah. And ultimately, is it because he's just blessed with skill? It's not. Mm-hmm. Like the the reason Curry's so good at shoot, like you don't think Ray Allen shot a, like a thousand shots, but maybe fucking Curry shot ten thousand. Right. I, I I don't I don't think that. Curry and Ray Allen, like, are, I wouldn't say one's more talented than the other. It's just one worked harder, maybe, at something. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird. I, I, I don't know how to, like... What I can tell you about the guys that made it to the major leagues that I played with, all of them, at some point, either did steroids or started abusing Adderall. That's the excuse that I, I, I you were about to say sure. abusing women. I was like, that's part of the formula. <laughs> I'm going to no, I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna say that, dude, that's that's what I like to, that's what lets me sleep at night because I had every ability and I should have made it. I was blessed with size, strength, more than most dudes. Do you think some guys are just, oh, he's raw talent and he doesn't have to work hard. It's, it's just, he's just so good at it. Uh, there are guys like that in baseball, yes. And they're mostly Latinos. But they fucking also like train hard. They also train hard maybe dude like miguel cabrera probably the best right-handed hitter ever dude he's had three three times he's been in aa he's had multiple duis throughout his life apparently and he's he's, out of shape and he's out of shape he swings they they say he comes into spring training having not hit the entire off season just fucking you know does 25 swings and he's the best right-handed hitter ever dude see yeah it's just weird with sports where it's like it's like i've watched comedians like you know dude i was probably I mean, you can think you're funny, and then I you I've watched people get better and get good. Yeah, so and if, so you can learn it, but I but there is something. Mm-hmm. There still is an it factor no, a little you, bit. You're right. right though, man. If I go back and I read my early comedic stories, and if you went back and you watched tape of you bombing on New yeah. Year's Eve for Bobby Lee, we would probably both say if we didn't know that was us, we'd be like yeah. this kid's got no talent. Get sure. him off the fucking so, stage. Sure. But then it's a good thing we stuck with it, isn't it? Yeah. So there is a way to like learn it but I, it's hard because i don't know like because I, I i i would used to ask people this can anyone be a stand-up comedian and it's just like and then people are like well no not you have to have the guts to get up on stage okay fine mm-hmm. if you have the guts to get up on stage and do 500 open mics a year mm-hmm. now can anyone be it yeah. and it's like mm-hmm. i know guys who've done it 500 times and they didn't progress because there's so many like other things too because it's show business mm-hmm. right it's like uh you gotta work smart too yeah. It's not just like, oh, he did 500 open mics, but like, you know, maybe he didn't have some other skills or he or like he plucked the long nose hairs and he dyed his hair when it started to get gray or he lost 15 pounds. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's weird because like right now I'm learning to play the keyboard and I've and I've been and I'm doing it every day and I've gotten better in just a week. If I showed you how, how different it is, yeah. it's crazy. But does that mean if I did this every day for fucking 10 years, I would be one of the best? Like, I don't know. You know what? I, is there, I'd say is this. there an it factor with with talent? As Because uh, less with sports, you would say. Yeah. Some guys are just like, okay, they get it. They're freaks, yeah. But if someone is 6'7 and they work fucking their ass off, can they be a great basketball player? I, yes. I think this. I think anybody who puts their mind to learning the craft of joke writing, because joke writing is a very learnable skill. It doesn't matter if you have a bunch of life experience and stories. Joke writing is logic and it's an art form. It's piecing things together, building tension, arriving at a surprising punchline. If you do that, and it doesn't matter if you're obese you have zero charisma, you have dandruff, you could probably get high enough profile to get a really good paying job on a sitcom. As a, write, as a, as a, writer. As a writer. But uh, would you be a good stand-up comic? Because there could be a comic that knows how to write a joke, but do you know mm-hmm. how, to, how, to, how to write a joke for yourself and who you are? That's the difference of like That's, honing into yeah. who, like, like I could fuck it. If I, like if I can, any comic could deliver some other, a joke. Like if it's written on like Jay Leno, like I could fucking, someone wrote a joke for mm. Jay Leno. They're writing for Jay Leno. They know his, his like delivery. You could, I could tell a joke, but like, 
there's a lot of jokes, a great bit from a comedian only he could do. Yeah. Because it's like his humor yeah. and the way he delivers it. Yeah. Like, you know, like, his worldview. Yeah. Yeah. That, those are the nuances that sometimes I overlook because the, I just don't know stand yeah, up as well. That's just them knowing themselves and, and just from going on stage so much. Hey, yeah. guys, 